Surprise! Mom, Dad, <laughs> you're here. Well, now that we've dispensed with the obvious, may we come in? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? It worked. What's that? I tell you, Mother, that by dropping in unexpectedly, we'd render you tongue-tied. Look at him. You can barely get out a syllable coherently. <laughs> well, you, you didn't, uh, I mean, you... How was I sp <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, darling. How are you? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> I'll vouch for that. Hello, I'm Ashley Brent. Oh, hello. John Jacks. Uh, this is my wife, Lady Jane. Hello, how do you do? Just Jane will be fine. Well, it's such a pleasure to meet both of you. Jax has told me so much about you. So how is Austria? Fine, I suppose, but uh, we live in Alaska. Really? Why? I'm sorry, did you say your name was Ashley Brent? Yes, that's right. Aren't you a friend of our older son, Jerry? Well, we've met several times. So he told me. In fact, he said you're the reason he was stranded in Palau. <laughs> Isn't Jerry so much fun? I mean, he can take the smallest little misunderstanding and make it seem as though it's an international conspiracy against him. So, uh, tell me, what brings you to poor Charles? Someone tried to kill our son. Well, they missed. I'm fine. And Brenda? We heard the bullet struck her instead. Well, luckily, she just got a little graze on the arm. Let me get that real quick. So, have you heard all about the strike? First it started with the dock workers, and then all the other unions joined in. Things have actually gotten so bad that I had to walk from my... Brenda! Oh, oh my God. God! What are you guys doing here? Oh, they're surprising people hey. so far. Oh, she looks pale, John. Maybe she should sit down. Absolutely right. Here you go, sweetheart. Lean on this. Oh. then oh yes yes well aren't they great you must have been so surprised to meet them well yes it, it was a shocker all right everyone let's back off and let brenda relax Jax, get her some water why because the woman's taken a bullet that's why <laughs> is this how he's been taking care of you yeah i'd love some water actually huh. um aren't you going to show them your uh, terrible wound oh no thank you we have no desire to see brenda's lovely skin all torn to pieces oh come on you know Actually, it's kind of cute. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Well, I heal really fast. <laughs> very good, very good. The important thing is you're alive and well and more beautiful than ever. Thank you. Well, if Mom and Dad Jax don't mind, I think I'll be running along. So how long do you think you'll be staying? Oh, a few hours, a few weeks. We like being spontaneous. So I see. Jax, uh, walk me down? Well, with the whole town on strike, the elevator really takes too long. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye, Bren. Oh, bye, Ashley. <clears throat> Mom and Dad, Jax, indeed. Would somebody mind telling me what Jax is doing with his brother's ex-girlfriend? I try not to think about it. <laughs> the more important question is, what's going on between you and Jax? Not much. Oh, with that Ashley person on the scene, and you haven't given up on him, have you? No. But I wouldn't be offended if you two were wishing that I had. I plan to marry another man, and if you two held that against me, I would understand. The first time I saw you and Jax together, I knew you were right for each other. And I feel the same way today, even after all you've been through. Thanks. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about winning over the in-laws, right? <laughs> <laughs> Giving you a bit of the old runaround, is he? He's not making it very easy. <laughs> oh, that Ashley woman can't hold a candle to you. And we're going to make Jack see that. <laughs> Ashley really isn't the issue. No. Then what is? Well, Jax needs to learn to trust me again. In the meantime, he's dating. Wasting his time, I call it. <laughs> I think it's kind of important that 
IV patient with him right now. And you too. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this. You're focused, you're determined. It's all going to work out for you. Any idea when? <laughs> <laughs> Probably sooner than you think. Good. Hey! You'll never guess what happened. I was in the lobby saying goodbye to Ashley and suddenly I had a revelation. I have an announcement to make, folks. Or more accurately, a proposal. It's a serious word, young man. I hope you know what you're doing. I will admit, I have my doubts, and it's risky. But sometimes when you love people, you need to take a chance. Now, would you be more comfortable if your mother and I went downstairs for a while? And miss my proposal? Oh, fine, fine. Just get on with it. Quit teasing us and do it already. Mum, Dad, I would like you to stay on for a while in Port Charles. If you like, we can rent the same suite that you had last time. What do you say? Oh, very funny, that's what I say. And as for the suite, we've already rented it. And now tell me you've got Jerry stashed there. No, but we do have a little something for Brenda. We'll go get it. Oh, no, no, you two stay here and visit no, with your son. You stay, you take care of your business with Jax. We'll be around. Alone at last. What business? Three guesses. <laughs> you love to see me do this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Truth is, I know exactly why you're here, Brenda. Okay. Cash in on that wish I granted you. Oh, right. The day after I saved your life when you dumped me on the bed and left me. Yeah, that's the one. You're right. So what will it be? A weekend in Paris, a new wardrobe? My wish is to explain to you that I understand what happened that night. Okay. Wish granted. Well, you brought me home, which was very sweet, and we kissed, and I never really expected you to stay. <laughs> Come on, Brenda, <laughs> you wanted me. The least you could do is admit it. I'll admit it if you admit it. What? That you wanted me. Well, obviously, I didn't. I mean, maybe for a second or two, or three. Right. See, the fact that you kissed me again means that you failed the test. Test for what? I know how scared you are. You, you know, I won't tell you I don't enjoy the game you're playing because I do. It's fun and challenging and sexy as hell, but no matter how many tests you throw at me or how scared you think I am, you and I We'll never. We won't stay long. This is for you. Oh, what is this? It's a get well present. She <laughs> is well. I'll stay out of this. Thank you so much. It's a pair of slippers. I think you know why. I gave your dad a pair of slippers when he was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Most comfortable things I've ever had on my feet. <laughs> but more importantly, I'm still alive. And so are you. Well, we should all celebrate, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Would you like some tea? No, nothing for me, thanks. Say so you'd love some. What? So we can get out of the room. Oh, yes, actually, I'd oh. love some. <laughs> Imagine that. We're going to go make some tea. <laughs> when we got to the police station, Jax was sitting on the sergeant's desk with a policeman's hat on his head, eating a bar of chocolate. Not a care in the world. Hello, Mummy says. Can we go see the tigers now? And what'd you do? <laughs> took me to the zoo, of course. <laughs> well, we figured if he'd made it that far on his own, he deserved a reward. Mm. And they tried to encourage independence whenever possible. And in the end, I think we overdid it a bit. Poor Jerry's a lost cause. He's mistaken independence for a perpetual motion. Mm, can't get an address on that boy. Except when he's taken hostage. Well, there's still hope for Jax. Thanks to you, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be having dinner instead of advising Jax on how to live his life. Oh, well, we would never do that, dear. Mm. You were resourceful enough to find Brenda in the first place. I'm sure you'll make your own way back to her. <laughs> <laughs> Thai food? How about Chinese food, my treat? Absolutely not. I didn't work this hard to oh, let my children Oh, yes, pick. love, we know. Well, that settles it, Brenda. You're still a family member when you qualify for John's I didn't build my fortune to let children pay for dinner speech. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll meet you downstairs. I love your pants. Yeah, so do I. Uh, 
I bet they're completely wrong about us, though. Ah! Ah, 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 don't even start. Love talk. Jax, it's Mac. Call me as soon as you get this. It turns out Mitch Wright has a partner. You're still in danger. 